Hey, 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 what's Good up? Morning. morning, morning. Oh, this guy's so. We got blessed. some. Um, what you got for me? So, what's your plan for me, huh? Uh, <laughs> well, we're hungry, man. So. Good morning, everyone. Um, we're about to eat all day today. We're gonna take you through an entire day of eating. Let's like see how you can you, you can yeah. get so shredded, huh? Heck yeah, man. <laughs> Ooh, hello, boys. <laughs> Damn, you're so making videos, man. Remember to follow us, you know. Heck yeah, bro. All right, so you already know. First meal. We gotta make French toast, right? <laughs> so, I didn't show on how we made it yesterday, but we're about to make it today. We're Damn, the secret sauces, huh? Heck yeah, man. Okay, so, what here? Okay, so, first we're gonna make um, the batter for the French toast. And the, the, the trick to all this is that it's supposed to be very, very low calorie, healthy. And I'm gonna show you guys a couple things that I make. And it's already on On's channel, but I make it a little bit different just because I've changed up my recipe just a tad bit. So first we start, and this is like per person. Yeah, learn it from the master of uh, We start with one egg, and you can use eggs or egg whites, but one egg provides like the fluffiness for the uh, batter. So we gotta break it up. Got one egg, and then um, to supplement that, a little more protein as you add some egg whites, and uh, I like to do five servings per person, so 250 grams. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's equal like five egg whites. Five egg whites yeah. by itself, yes. If you don't have it where you live. And yeah, then, like we don't have egg whites. Yeah, yeah, and then one. Uh, serving of almond milk, whatever milk you want to use. I like to use almond milk because it's like very, very low calorie. And if I use milk in itself, it's a lot high calorie. So the trick to all this is to save as many calories as possible. So we have half a serving, which is 120 grams. And there's your batter. Super mm -hmm. simple. Um, then you mix it, right? Of course, you gotta mix it. The egg white, man. Chopstick yeah, though. <laughs> chopstick man, yo. If you don't cook with a chopstick, don't talk to me man. Chops, chopstick is the best way to cook. So, we got our egg whites, we got our batter, and the pan is preheated. Um, so the next one obviously is your bread. You know, I know that in Vietnam, they, don't, they probably don't have alternatives like this. So you have to really find out which bread works for you, which one's low calorie, which one fits your needs. Thankfully, in the U.S., we have low-calorie alternatives. So this is a 40 calorie per slice bread, um, nine carbs per slice, and this is how I'm able to eat so much volume, and it's still being very, very low calories because the key is to have volume. So pans are preheated. We got coconut oil spray, and I use coconut oil because the taste with the French toast, and also the smoking point is a lot higher, um, so you don't burn your foods as fast. So Spray generously, coat everything. All right, and then we want to put as many slices as possible. So we got four. I like to very, very lightly coat it. So I'll just throw it here, dip it, turn it, throw it on the Now you're cooking six slices at a time. Um, I gauge it, so in order to know when to flip, I pretty much gauge it to the point where if you put it in a toaster and it's like brown enough, that's when you flip it and it has to be somewhat kind of crispy on the bottom before you flip it. You don't want to undercook it and you don't want to overcook it. So how long do you put it for once? Um, uh, I would one say slice. like a minute and a half to two minutes per side. And as the pan and the the stove heats up, it's quicker. So and sometimes it'll be even only a minute. Mm. So what about the level of the fire? Uh, medium high. Medium so high. So about eight on my stove. Oh, uh, yeah. Perfect. One more tip I like to do is that when it's cooking on one side, I'll spray butter on the other side. So 
That is the uncooked side so far, and I'll coat it as much as possible so that when I flip it, I'm adding more butter flavor to it. Guys, this will make a difference, man. Like, how you cook it, every single factor will have a huge difference in the taste of your food. Be sure to use coconut oil, man. Coconut oil, so good. Yeah, and I use butter oil. Butter oil is good too, but it burns quicker. Oh, sure. So coconut oil is like really, really good to sustain it and adds a little bit of sweetness to the bread. Mm -hmm. um, this is, that's a good tip. Yeah, bro. So we're checking to see if we need to flip it. And if you see by this side, you see it's kind of slightly brown. Yeah. And it's a perfect toast. That's when I flip it. Oh. Ho -ho. Yeah, dude. And that was like a minute and a half. <laughs> Alright, so French toast is not gonna go complete without an amazing sauce. We don't use typical sauces around here, so it's all about being creative. And first off, your base is always gonna be your pancake syrup, uh, you know, the Walden Farms, zero calorie. Whatever you like to use, I don't like to use regular syrup just because I don't like the taste of it. Uh, too sweet, in my opinion. So, what we do is we get our favorite peanut butter, whatever kind of peanut butter you want. And I got maple chocolate pretzel. This is really, really good. So I'll get one serving of this, which is 33 grams. Let's see. All right. That is bomb, man. And then you get your syrup, pour it all in. Zero calories, man, so don't be afraid. Go a little bit. And then to melt the peanut butter, pop in the microwave one minute, and that's it. All right, so I like drinking coffee every single day. It's amazing with French toast, and nothing beats a low calorie, delicious iced coffee, right? So every single morning, I have to pair it, and it's like perfect with French toast. So. Here's how I make my coffee. Really, really delicious. Um, we got two scoops of your favorite sweetener, you know, whether it's like Splenda or Sucralose or whatever. This is zero calories, so, you know, add it to your liking. And then we got low calorie vanilla milk. And this is very, very crucial because your milk has to complement your coffee. You can't just throw any kind of milk in there. It has to go perfectly well. So we have vanilla. We go half a serving, 120 grams. A little heavy, all good. And um, this is hazelnut dark roast. And the key to coffee, iced coffee, is to use dark roast so that when you pour it, it's not watered down like light roast. So we got dark roast hazelnut, perfect with the vanilla. Shake it up. And uh, we'll let On try it. This is On's. I already know the taste yesterday. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so the sauce is all heated up. Peanut butter is melted. What you do is now you need to mend it all together. Look at that. Mix all the way in. Look at that, guys. Ooh. This is how you get big or get shredded and still enjoy your diet. All right, so now we have the best part. Cut the bread down the middle. You want to create that theatrics. Create the theatrics of it. Remember this. Oh my gosh, guys. Yo. And then, what we do, so hot, so we spray a little butter down the middle so that each bite, you get the butter. Sprinkle a little cinnamon on there, get a little garnish. Not too much. A little bit of your sweetener. Throw it down the middle. Oh my gosh. Then, 
your sauce. Voila. Okay, your French toast. So, this is the completed portion. This is like chocolate, maple pretzel, French toast, and you have a lot of extra dipping sauce, so each bite that you take, you dip it in there. It's gonna be so good, guys. So, this is Ons, and uh, let's try it out. I eat this every day and I never get bored of it. Like, all right, well, it's a mouthful, man. We got eight slices. So we gotta strategically eat it. Three slices at a time. Oh. It's down the middle. Just strategy, you know what I mean? Cut it. Oh my god. So good. Can't eat it like a steak. Dip a little bit. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> good stuff for the day. Dude, yeah. This is so good. This is how you start your day, man. Enjoy this. Ten seconds later. Clean. <laughs> so now what we do? We do work. Yeah, we now we're gonna work. We're gonna edit our YouTube videos because YouTube life. <laughs> All right. We wanna see you as a meal second. Okay, so it's about like two hours before we work out, and kind of want something small that's not like too heavy. Um, to the point where our workout feel kind of sluggish. So I'm gonna make us a little like sandwich to kind of get us through and we have kind of, you know, something in our stomachs. So I'm gonna make a little deli sandwich, coat the pan with some coconut oil, of course. Love coconut oil. And yo, this right here, I know that not everywhere sells this, but this is turkey bacon. And one slice is 1.5 fat, two carb, and six grams of protein. So. As opposed to using regular bacon from, you know, um, that's super fatty or made of pork, this is made from turkey. So, you know, not everyone eats pork or likes to taste. Super thin, very, very lean, and these are really delicious. So while that's cooking, I'm also gonna cook some egg whites to add into our sandwich, a little high protein sandwich. About 200 grams of toasted bread with our little sandwich. This is the bread that I normally use for French toast. Since the morning bread we had was like way too much fiber, we're kind of trying to shrink it down a little bit. Too much fiber is not that good um, in digestion. So, toast some bread for our sandwich. Our bacon is done, evenly charred on both sides. We're gonna take all four of them out. Guys, this smells. Phenomenal. So, after that, make sure this doesn't burn too much. Ooh. Next thing we have, some turkey breast strips. Uh, this is smoked jalapeno. So this is gonna go really, really well with the sweet bacon and the egg whites. Egg whites are done, turn off the fire. Pan smells good from the bacon. Now next, what we do, we add some of this jalapeno. We're gonna char it, put a little feet on there. Oh my god. Bro, this with eggs is so amazing. With the Mexican? Yeah, is this it? is, okay, so this is very, very simple. This is what, like, if you go to Mexican restaurants, they probably give you this stuff, right? This is like salsa. Oh, salsa. Yeah, yeah, no. So yeah. this is very simple. It's so uh, tell, tell people what salsa is because okay. they don't know. So salsa is like, for Mexican food, it's like what uh, Vietnamese eat nook mam. <laughs> it's the same thing. But this is, this yeah. is the Mexican nook mam, and uh, it's really, really simple. It's like green tomatoes, which, which they call tomatillo. Yeah. Cilantro, jalapenos. Um, and that's it. Yeah, that's all it is I know, I know, in here. Yeah. And it's very, very healthy. You eat it with anything, like with eggs, with with steak, chicken, whatever. It's really, yeah, really good. It's like you, Vietnamese yeah. eat no mum with everything. So. That's you. 
Okay, sandwich is done. What we're gonna do now is we're going to add the stuff inside. So on and I each have half of the egg whites. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this in here with the egg whites. We got two strips of the turkey bacon. Oh my gosh, look at that. Ooh. Got some of the jalapeno turkey on top. Super high in protein, man. We're talking about a protein Quality packed meal. Food, man. Quality. All right, so sandwich is, man, look at that, loaded with protein. Nothing but freaking protein. Super low carb, very, very high in protein and low in fat. So we get a little bit of salsa per bite. You know, you gotta load it. Make sure you take a bite. Mm. Mm. Oh, man. <laughs> you make me watering, bro. Yeah, that's <laughs> wow. You try it, you try it. Yeah, alright. Alright, you take it. Alright. So. Now, uh, can I borrow it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. So you get some of the salsa. Put it here. Mm hmm. Mmm. <laughs> that is pretty good, bro. Hell yeah, man. I didn't, I didn't expect that. I'm not really a fan of kind of American uh, style, mm -hmm. food, but mm -hmm. it's good, man. Hell yeah, man. Mmm. Bro, look Jesus. at that. Super high in protein, oh. man. And still hungry, huh? Yeah, you know, I'm you know, always hungry. But to be honest, like. I can never finish a meal, like a meal never feels complete without dessert. Uh, you know we had to make mac macro friendly, you know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. So we got some uh, Dovar Donuts, best donut, protein donut company in the entire world, man. Super good. We have a cookie monster flavor. Okay. So what it, inside is like donuts. And then you have your toppings that are like separate, so you can put them on yourself. <laughs> so for one donut, just the donut itself is one, four grams of fat, 16 grams of carb, and 11 protein. 11 protein in this. And then the, the topping, we're gonna share it. It's only eight carbs and one gram of fat. So really, really macro friendly as well. What are we gonna do? Uh -huh. Open it up, come on, sand. And then. It's gotta be soft, so we're gonna pop it in the microwave. We're gonna share this one. Share it, like this is a lot of icing, man. There's no way you should use all this. Mm -hmm. So. Ooh, look at it. Ooh. Dude, look at that. Damn, man. See, only like 20 grams of carbs for each of this. But. For this whole thing. Oh my gosh, look at that. We need to use the whole thing. And then, what you do is sprinkle it. Sprinkle it here. Boy. Oh boy. Atta boy. Bro, look at that. Look how good that looks, man. Yeah. I'm gonna take a bite of this. Cheers. Cheers. Heck yeah. Ooh, 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 look at this, man. Mm. <laughs> oh <my God>. Always. <laughs> mm. See, mm. you gotta find a man who shares. I like to give my whole to my fiance. This is the best part of a donut. This is the best part. Give my fiance the whole. Introduce your fiance. Who are you? Oh, yeah, who are you? <laughs> who am I? <laughs> your whole taste nice. <laughs> so, this is my lovely fiance, of course. Mm -hmm. Behind the scenes or everything. Um... <sighs> yeah, he's not single, so ladies. I'm not don't. single. Yeah, I'm not single. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to him. <laughs> It's so good. Yo, so good, bro. So good. It's soft it is, dude. Look at this. Yeah, it's real soft, man. Mm. Damn. Like, dude, look at that. Ooh. 
Ooh, man. Whole day, baby. All day, every day. Huh? Wait till you see the dinner, man. <laughs> All right. That's a very good book, man. Tell them where we going right now. We're about to go watch Crazy Crazy Rich Asians. Oh. We got a bunch of Asians in here that aren't crazy rich. <laughs> oh no. So we're trying no. to aspire to be like them. No man. <laughs> <laughs> well we're about to have ones in for a treat because we're actually gonna eat in the movie theater. Damn. I can't wait man. I'm so hungry Yo, from the book man. man. We kill the workout, we're about to kill this dinner too, man. Alright. So, because uh, we cannot bring the camera in, so... Actually, I will review the movies later and we'll show you the picture of the, of the food that we have. Because today, today is the food that we're eating, right, man? Yeah. So, now is the review. Okay, so we just finished watching Crazy Rich Asians. That was a really good movie, huh? Yeah. Like, in how my opinion... That was probably one of the best movies I've ever seen. So damn true, man. Yo, like, Crazy Rich Asians, I don't know. It, like, uh, it didn't fit the description of the title. It was really, really good. Um, and then we had a really bomb pizza. I had, like, a huge barbecue chicken flatbread. Uh, on had one. And then we each had, like, an alcoholic drink after. I watched some fireworks. It was really, really dope. Um, and just a good night to kind of cap off the night but um that's pretty much going to conclude this video guys like what we eat on a normal basis is like normal people you know like we track our macros we eat like normal people but we know what we eat on a daily basis so we're able to estimate based off of like our own macros because on and i've been doing this for so long we kind of know how to guesstimate how to make smarter choices because if we know how to eat if we know we're eating out like at night during the day we eat like lower fat items true you know what man. i mean you kind of like make smart choices because you have in the back of your mind um but pizza is really good um good night good times it's funny like on cried man <laughs> yo like yo you you cried during the movie no, man. that's that's a good movie and it has a very good message for people so that's so if, true if you can understand that it makes so much more sense you can understand yeah i just feel it and uh yeah man I, i'm i'm a in emotional person so <laughs> yeah that's a very good night for me it's perfect now and you can see like huang uh, no, Daniel eat like the whole pizza, but still stay really very lean because like we smart and we can track everything that we eat So we make sure we be accountable with the food that we take in our body. So exactly. Yeah, and it's I think yeah, that's almost 11 Yeah, that's what a yep, good day. It is 10 53 p.m. And we only ate how many meals three meals three meals. Yeah, we ate three meals a day so Damn. like so to be honest like the number of meals does not matter. The timing of meals does not matter because like we worked out, we finished working out at six o'clock, but we didn't eat till like almost eight o'clock. Um, and as long as you hit your daily macro intake, that's really all that matters. Um, you know, people don't understand that. They think that you have to eat six to seven meals a day, but this goes to show, man, we showed you everything that we ate and it wasn't the healthiest during the, towards the end of the night, but we ate like that, but it's you know nice. how to how to stay lean, right? I only eat like this once a week. Towards the, you know the rest of the week when I'm eating at home, I always eat very healthy. Um, you know, still hitting the same macros because you can look the same about eating bad and eating good yeah. as long as you hit the same macros. But you got to be smart, like eat healthier, eat your fruits and vegetables, and that's it, man. So hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe to on. 
like and then follow me <laughs> and um, you know on makes great videos so I'll see you guys or we will see you guys in the next video so yeah peace all out. right peace out peace out